or on or in which language? Arabic. So all the du'as which are being taught to us from our Imams, Quran, the book of Allah is in Arabic. So whatever we yeah, recite yeah. is in Arabic, like this Dua Imam is Imam. This is in Arabic, right? So when we yeah, recite yeah. it, it is good that we recite it, but we also need to understand the meaning of it, right? So at the end of this majlis, we will go through the meaning of the Dua Imam is Imam, which we recite every day. So we will know what does it mean, because we recite it every day, pretty much. So we'll know what the meaning is. The topic of my discussion today is different religions in the United States of America. That's my topic today, okay? Um, if I ask you guys right now, what is your religion? Can somebody answer? What is Hashem? What is your religion? Islam. So our religion is? Islam. Islam. So we are Muslim, right? But everybody in the United States is not Muslim, right? So is everybody in the United States Muslim? No. No. So not everybody is Muslim. So there are so many other religions and so many people associated with different religion in this country where we live. This is a country where we live. And we have to understand how many other religion are there and why our religion, Islam, is the best and how we are proud of being Muslim, right? This is not a small thing that you're a Muslim. You are Muslim and you should be proud of it. Now, this country where we live in, United States of America, you know most of the people here who live here, what religion is their religion? Christians. So most of the people who live here are Christian. Can you also name some other religion in the United States? Jews. Jews, yes. So Jews live here, Christians live here, obviously we Muslims live here. Who else? Any other religion? Sikh. Yeah, Sikhs live here. Who? Any other name? Hindus, Sikhs, you know, Christians. Uh, Jews, Buddhists, so many religions live here. So now we have to understand that these all religions are out there and we have to understand why we are Muslims and why Islam is the best religion. Now I will give you a little bit of, a, a, just a little bit, teeny tiny detail about all the big religions here in the United States. So the biggest religion is Christianity, Christians, right? You know who they follow. Do anybody know who their prophet is? Yes, go ahead. No. Who's, who's the prophet? Yeah, go ahead. Anybody. Who's the prophet of Christians? Jesus. Or, or we call it in Urdu, Isa. Prophet Isa or Jesus. That's the prophet of Christians, right? Everybody is with me right now? So the prophet of Christians is prophet Isa. And, and prophet Isa had a book too, like prophet Muhammad has Quran. Do you know what book Prophet Isa had? Good, go ahead. Bible, yeah. So Prophet Isa has Bible and Christian Christians follow Prophet Isa, right? In the same way, anybody knows who's the prophet of Jews? Yeah, go ahead, man. Moses, yeah. Prophet Musa is the prophet of Jews, right? And anybody know what was the book of Prophet Musa? Like, it, like you know, uh, Quran, what was the book of it? Torah. Torah or Torah, right? So, so like, like, pretty much like us, they have the Prophet, they have the book. Like we have the Prophet, we have the book. They have their own Prophet, they have their own book. Jews have Prophet Musa. Musa, they have their book Torah. Christians have prophet. Jesus or Isa, they have their own book. What is the name of the book? Bible. And we are Muslims, we have our own prophet and we have our book? Quran, right? So we are pretty much the same. Like we have a prophet, we have a book. We have a, Jews have a prophet, they have a book. Christians have a prophet, they have a book. 